All right. Um, so I just want to talk briefly um, just a little bit about the Kidney Cancer Association for those of you who are not familiar with the organization. Um, our organization was founded in 1990 um, by a kidney cancer patient. Um, at that time, his diagnosis was probably very different compared to when many of you were diagnosed. There were no treatments. Um, there was no organization for him to turn to to find any kind of informa information. And so his physician challenged him with doing something about it. And um, Gene did, and he created the Kidney Cancer Association. Um, at the time, you know, the key things were just getting some information out there. He had information on the internet before people really knew what that was. Those were the kind of the key issues. Um, you know, interestingly, that some of the questions being talked about before I got up here, you know, talking about the economy, talking about healthcare, and so many changes. Um, but that's something that our organization is very focused on: is to continue to educate patients, to help advocate on behalf of behalf of patients all over the world, and continue to help fund and promote research. And those three. Our, those three areas are the core of our mission, and they always have been. Um, you know, your your feedback coming to these meetings is helpful to us um, as we move you know move forward um, and face these different challenges. We're fortunate to have um, great advisors, such as many of those you see sitting up here on our medical steering committee. Um, we have a nurse advisory board um, with nurses from all over the world. Um, and we have a wonderful board of directors who, you know, sit down and, and discuss these same issues that you're bringing up today. So I encourage you to continue to provide us with, you know, with feedback, with your thoughts. Um, I wanted to put up, instead of, you know, just doing some slides with some screenshots of our website, um, just to pull up the Kidney Cancer Association website for you, for those of you who haven't had an opportunity to visit it. Um, this is the best place for you to come if you have questions. Um, normally, um, we have on, you know, a weekly basis, any time from five or six in the morning till late at night. One of us is always online, and um, if you go to the website, what you'll normally get is a pop-up that um, is a live chat, so somebody, um, myself, our CEO, or another one of our staff members, members is available to chat with you one-on-one -on -one instantly to help you navigate the website, um, provide you with other resources, and help you to, to answer your questions. Um, just a few key things to point out. Right here in this box, I'm not going to play it because I'm afraid I'll start hearing myself talk. This is where we have the live webcast going now. Um, but normally there'll be um, weekly news up there. Um, you'll be able to get to our YouTube channel from this box. So following the meeting, um, today's morning and afternoon sessions, it's in two parts, uh, will be available. Um, you can see the recorded version and then um, be able to see past meetings, um, some of our medical symposia. Um, and we do try to do probably every week or every other week something new that's in the news about kidney cancer, as both a video um, and something written, written for our patients. Um, here you can get um, I know some of you had asked me earlier today, um, we had a few copies of our publication, We Have Kidney Cancer, um, that is um, reviewed every year by our nurse advisory board. Oh, there is the pop-up. Um, so here's where you can order a hard copy of our publication, We Have Kidney Cancer, or the companion piece, um, Survivor Stories, which um, features about a dozen um, patients, patients and caregivers telling their story. Um, of kidney cancer. You can also get a free e-reader of these or download the PDF. So they're all available from that spot on our, on our homepage. And then um, the other key thing, if you're looking for more opportunities to attend meetings like this, um, you can go to our support group meetings here and find a list of all meetings that we have, or if there's not one in your area, we can help you to get one started. Um, another area kind of talking about this access to, to therapies and, you know, being able to cover the cost of your disease. Um, we work with a number of organizations that will help provide uh, financial assistance for you, um, help you to start fundraisers. Um, if, you know, if your family and friends want to help, help you to fund therapies um, or other, other costs that you might have associated with the disease, you can find that information from this page. Um, we've also partnered this year with an organization called Lots of Helping Hands. And what this, what this organization will do is help you to create your own community. So if you're looking for people to give you rides to um, the hospital to help cook meals, um, babysit your children, come and clean your house, they'll let you set up what you need um, and let people volunteer at different, different days of the week, different times of the month. You can update them um, with how you're doing. So it's just a new site that we've been testing this year and encourage you if that's something that you might find useful to um, you know, to set up a community for you your, with your friends and family. Um, and then finally, too, in terms of um, looking for support um, and communicating with other patients and families, um, any of our social networking um, sites here, our Facebook, um, 
has over 65,000 members now from all over the world. Um, many of you may already be on there and communicating with one another. Again, that's a great forum for you to provide us with feedback, with, with your concerns and questions that you might have. Um, and same with our Twitter account as well. We're on there pretty regularly. Um, and just one final area I want to point out to you too, kind of based on some of the information from today, is the drug information sheets here that's on the, the side menu. Um, you probably learned a lot about some of the new therapies um, that are approved for kidney cancer. And our nurses have done a wonderful job um, over the last few months of putting these into one to two page forms. Um, each, each drug is in the same format, so you kind of can look and see what the average dosing is, what some of the side effects are, and then um, kind of how to um, manage some of these side effects. And the second phase of this, hopefully sometime by the end of this month, we should have videos that will be companion pieces to these um, that the nurses have done to talk a little bit more about what these side effects are and how you can manage those. So I would encourage you to spend some time on the website. And again, as I mentioned, um, we're almost always on there with the live chat. So if you're on the site and look, can't find something, you know, feel free to say hello and we'll try to help you out. So are there any questions for me or anybody else on the panel? All right. Well, thank you to Dr. Wood and to all the rest of our panelists and to our sponsors, Genentech and Pfizer. And thank you all for coming.